Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, I have a Kiki a London haul to share with you, but I didn't want the video to be super long and it was going that way. So I decided I would split the video down into parts. So today's video is part one and we're gonna be swatching my glitter gel polishes that I got. Now I have worked with Kiki for quite a while now. If you don't already know, I do create videos over on their YouTube channel. However, I switched all of my gel polish Brand to Kiki before working with them and I decided I'd go through all of my collection the other day and see what colors I was missing and I'm missing around 50 something colors so I decided I would order start ordering the colors that I'm missing so I have around an order of around 30 to 40 colors I think to swatch so I thought I would swatch them all and share them with you all because I do love creating these swatch videos so I hope you all enjoy it watching now I do have a discount code for Kiki which I will leave linked in the description box box below so that does get you 10% off your order and they do already at the moment have a November nail art sale on so there's 20% off a lot of nail art items and then you can still use my discount code on top of that so on certain items you can get up to 30% off so if you haven't already checked out the Kiki London website I would highly recommend it now let's jump in to the swatching so like I said this whole video is glitter gel polishes and then in either the next two or three parts, I do have some solid colors and the thermal collection to swatch with you guys as well. But jumping on to the first color, this is the beautiful Lady Vegas. And I'm so surprised I didn't already have this one in my collection because I love anything that's purpley. <laughs> and this is a gorgeous purple glitter. Now Kiki London have a few different glitter ranges. So a lot of these glitters I'm gonna show you in the beginning of this video are more on the medium to chunky side. This one you can see here is actually made more of a medium cut glitter, but the next one has a few chunkier pieces in there. Then after swatching these, we're gonna swatch some colors from their platinum range, which is amazing. And then they do also have their spring bling glitter collection as well, which I have already swatched over on their channel, I think around two years ago. So I'll try and find that video and leave it linked below because it's nice to have a few different types of glitters. So this beautiful one is Fireball. And it's another one that I was surprised I didn't already have in my collection as this one is really, really popular. I see this being used all the time and I had to make sure I had it in time for Christmas this year. So as I mentioned, this one is more of a chunky glitter. You've got some larger hexagon pieces in there, but you've got those finer pieces as well. So you get a really pretty full coverage. And then it's got, it's the glitters are embedded in kind of like a red jelly glitter. It's not a transparent base. So it gives off a really vibrant, red tone so like I said I'm glad I have this one in time for Christmas but I do see this one being used quite a lot amongst the Kiki users especially around even in Halloween actually I see it used a fair bit but it's popular around Valentine's Day as well we do all love a red. So that is the beautiful Firebolt. Now I am top coating all of these with the Hema 3, Hema 3 No Wipe Top Coat. However, over these more chunkier glitters, I would recommend using the No Wipe Rubber Top Coat. Usually that's what I use over my swatches, but I was running a little low on it. So I thought I would use the Hema 3 one today and it does give off a beautiful shine. Now we have gone from a chunky glitter to a more finer one. This has a really pretty, more of a shimmer effect to it than a glitter but it's got this beautiful red berry translucent kind of like a jelly base to it and I really really love this I feel as though this one can be quite versatile because you could use this in one coat over the top of a red gel polish if you just wanted to add a shimmery effect or you can use it in two coats to build up the color now a lot of these glitters that I'm showing you guys first of all they are designed to be used as glitters or toppers so you can pop them over the top of another color to add a glitter effect to it now, not necessarily so much this one, but for example, Fireball, um, some of the pinks that I'm gonna swatch, Diamonds, which is a silver, they're in a clear base, so you could pop them over any color to add a sparkly effect. I really, really loved this one. This one gave off wintry, Christmassy, festive vibes to me as well. So here we have Techno Rave, and this is one, like I was saying, you can use this in one layer as a topper. Now, it is a more lighter, clear, 
base. Yeah, so he's all right. I lost my train of thought there. It is a clear gel base and then you've got lots of fine pink glitters in there. And then you've got these chunky silver holographic glitters as well. So you can see when it's going on, I was applying it quite thin there just to try and show you guys that there is that clear gel base. So you can pop this over any shade really. Of course, it would work really nicely over a nude or a light pink. Or you can do two coats and just have a full on glitter nail. These glitters are brilliant for any kind of glitter fade as well. Because they've got the clear gel base, they will fade nicely. If you're wanting to create a cuticle glitter fade or a glitter fade down from the tip, they will fade out nicely because they have that clear gel base as well as having those fine art glitters in there as well. You can see it's very easy to build up the coverage by coming in with a second coat. You're going to add on a lot more of those chunkier pieces if you are wanting to use this just as a full coverage I would recommend floating it on rather than brushing it on and over these ones I would definitely recommend the rubber top coat just because of those chunkier pieces as you can see this one was making my camera go crazy due to the amount of hollow that is in it but it is absolutely stunning now I am top coating with the Hema Free top coat, which is quite a thin consistency. So I've floated it on over the chunkier glitters and then just left it for a few seconds to self level so that the nail is still nice and smooth. So if you don't own the rubber top coat, that's what I would recommend doing. Then we have Crystal Babe, which is very similar to Techno Rave in the fact that you've got a more clear base. It's kind of like, it's got an ever so slight pink to the clear base, but I feel as though that might just be all the finer pink glitters in there so again you can use this as a topper or in two coats for full coverage but this one has a lot more of these lighter finer pink particles so it's great for creating any kind of sparkly glitter design whether you're wanting to use it as full coverage or in a design where you just want a little bit of glitter running through the design so for example sometimes when I'm doing marbles I want to add in just a little bit of sparkle using a gel like this where it's in a clear base it will run through that marble really nicely and just the glittery sparkly goodness will stand out but once again once you come in and add that second coat you've got that full-on gorgeous sparkle I love that this one has still got all those holographic particles in there but it's got that pop of pink now this one is now this one is going to become one of my firm favorites again it's another one that I just can't believe that I didn't already have in my collection I clearly have been sleeping on the glitter gel polishes but this is diamonds and it is a clear gel jam-packed with the most beautiful holographic iridescent particles it looks absolutely stunning I don't feel as though the camera is going to do it justice but as you can see one thin coat still builds up quite a bit of coverage I just think this will look beautiful though over any color I really want to try it over a darker shade I feel as though it look really wintry over like a navy blue base but then again in the summer you can pop this over your brights and it's going to look beautiful or you can just wear it on its own and the color speaks for itself especially when you come in and add that second coat it kind of gives like a crushed diamond look it is just super pretty and under certain lights those holographic particles really really sparkle you can see it just instantly drives my camera crazy it doesn't know where to focus because there's so much sparkle going on I can't wait to get this one into a design I think it would look really pretty like I said with some navy blues and maybe some snowflakes and start, it's starting to get me into the winter vibes and then we have the last one out of these more chunkier glitters is green tinsel now on camera this one shows up a lot more teal but it is more on the classic Christmassy green side it just for some reason my camera was picking it up a little bit more on the blue side but it's an absolutely beautiful color because rather than being embedded rather than the glitters being embedded in a clear gel they're in this jelly green and it just looks stunning especially when you come in and apply that second coat of color here you can kind of see it is a lot more green than it showed it like I don't know why but it was just giving teal vibes but it is a lot more green it's going to be the perfect color for Christmas which I'm sure we're all excited for the Christmas now lot again like Firebolt and techno rave this has got quite a few chunkier hexagons in there so you want to make sure that you're applying it nice and thin and getting those glitter particles to lie as flat and as neat as possible before top coating then i have six of the platinum glitter gel polishes so these are slightly different the glitters in these are a lot finer 
and they kind of give off a metallic chromey effect they are super super unique now there are more than six colors in the collection so there are more shades of these available i already had one which was rose gold and then there are a few more colors that i do hope to pick up but these are the ones i selected for now so first of all we have modern barbie and do you see what i mean about the glitters being that they're a lot more finer but then the actual gel has a color too so it's not a clear transparent base and they are just super beautiful rather than having the hexagon shape glitters they're kind of more like really super fine shards i really don't know how to describe it so i hope you get what i mean from watching the video but they are absolutely magical and i loved the consistency of these ones as well they are super super fine and thin because the glitters in them are nice and thin the gel feels quite a thin consistency so it's super easy to apply so if you are new to working with glitter gel polishes and you're worried about you're not going to have too bulky nails i I definitely would recommend reaching for these first of all because they are that little bit of a thinner consistency they are a lot easier to apply so the first one we had the first pink i decided to grab two pinks because i want to do some pink wintry nails so we had the modern barbie and then this is pink diamond and this kind of is quite similar to the rose gold that's in this collection but it has just that little bit more of a hint of pink to it which isn't fully showing up on camera it's giving more rose gold vibes here but I do think this one will be absolutely beautiful in Christmas nails as well, as I find the pink is very similar to the kind of style of pink you see in pink Christmas decorations, especially once you come in and add that second coat of it, the color just comes to life a little bit more. So I'm really feeling doing like a Christmas, like a modern Christmassy decoration set of nails with this color and maybe even including in a little bit of the modern Barbie as well. Let me know in the comments below if if you have any winter slash Christmas nail art designs you guys would like to see. I can't wait to make a start on Christmas content. Next up, we have Lavender Haze. And as I said before, I am a huge lover of anything purple, anything lilac, lavender, violet. So I'm really surprised I didn't already own this one. But I see it used recently by one of the Kiki London customers and I thought I have to order this one it is absolutely stunning it is a beautiful purple shade but the glitters do kind of give off a bit of a silver effect to it as well so it kind of does give very festive wintry vibes so I can't wait again to get this in a Christmas set of nails but I do feel as though a lot of these colors from the glitter and platinum collection you are going to use them all year round but I do feel as though it is this time of year that we start really really going hard on the glitter nails so that is the beautiful lavender haze I think it's just absolutely stunning let me know in the comments below what your favorite color out of all of today's were I've had fun just sitting swatching all of these glitter gel polishes it looked everything just looked really pretty and sparkly so next up we have a garden mist and again going on the whole Christmas winter vibe I needed to include a green and this one is really really pretty I do feel as though this will work a lot in the springtime as well so I do wish I'd owned it back then however I'm definitely going to try and include this in a Christmassy set of nails because of course it's green but it's a really really pretty green it's on the more lighter shade and again the base of the glitter is that it's not a clear gel base so you've got a hint of color so it really brings the colors and the glitters to life and it kind of has a little bit of a gold color shift to it when you catch it in certain lights another one of the platinum glitters that i didn't grab at the time i think it was out of stock was golden lab and oh my god that one is absolutely beautiful so i definitely will be picking that up soon and then sticking with the wintry vibes, I also picked up the two blues from this collection. So we have frozen blue, which just gives off super cold icicle vibes. It's super, super sparkly. And it's got a lot of, a, it brings out a lot of silver to this one as well. So I feel as though this will definitely work really well in some snowflakey nails. I probably would try and pair this up with one of the pinks and see if we can get a whole pink and blue wintry set going on. Cause I think it would, 
complement those two colors beautifully but it is super super sparkly it was a little bit more sheer compared to the other colors in one coat but once you come in and add on that second coat the sparkles really pop and especially once you come in and top coat you get that full-on shine coming through i absolutely loved this one these because these have a thinner consistency as well compared to some glitter gel polishes these will be brilliant as well when you're wanting to do things like french glitter tips because they've not got those chunky hexagon pieces in there you'll be able to use them easily to create a nice crisp french so i'm definitely wanting to give that a go with some of these as well because i definitely don't feel as though i've been adding enough glitter into my gel polish sets of nails a lot of the time i do find it a little bit of effort to get out a raw glitter mix it in with some base coat or top coat and add it into the design so i definitely feel you're going to see a lot more sparkly sets now that i've finally added a few more glitters to my glitter collection We've then moved on to the second blue that I mentioned, which was Blue Wish. And this is the final glitter gel polish that we're going to be swatching in today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed this sparkly glitter session. I have to say I really enjoyed swatching these. They're all really, really fun colours. So it was really enjoyable to sit down and just swatch away. So I do hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell me your favourite colour in the comments below. And as I mentioned, I do still have some solid colors to swatch with you. I think I spy another glitter in there, actually. I must have missed that one. And then I do have the Thermal collection to swatch as well, which I'm really excited for this one because I only owned one of these colors and now I've got the rest of the colors. So I'm really excited to see what they look like. Anyway, guys, I hope you are all doing well. Please do let me know how you're all doing. I do love checking in with you all and thank you for all the love that you've been leaving on my previous videos. It really means the world to me if you did enjoy today's video please do hit that subscription button and i shall see you all again in the next one i hope you all have a wonderful day lots of love take care bye bye